All we see at the moment within our application, although we have done a lot of setup, is just this 404 page not found. And this is because we don't have a route for our home page. And we also don't have things like the ability to store and render views and, you know, things like that. So what we're going to be doing in this part is setting up a route for the home page. And we're going to be using Twig templating to render this uh, page. Now, don't worry if you've not worked with Twig before. You should be able to pick it up fairly easily. It's a lot nicer in the way that the syntax works. And it's also uh, easier to extend templates and things like that as well. So you will fall in love with it uh, by the time you finish this series. So there's a couple of things that we need to do. We already have our Slim Views and Twig installed. Slim Views just lets us use Twig within Slim Views when we render a view. And Twig just supports this. Obviously, this is for Twig. So inside of our start.php file, we need to pass another configuration option through to Slim. And that is essentially the way we render views and also the path to our templates or our views. So for view, we're going to set this to new Twig. Now Twig is namespaced as usual. So this is under, uh, we'll put these under slim, actually we'll group these together. So this is under slim views twig. So twig is this here. So that's what we're passing through to view. Now we also have a templates.path option, which is the path to our views in our app. What we're doing is we're separating the logic that we create. So when we say register a user, we're separating the code that registers a user with the view that shows the form, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is going to be inside of our include root. And we're going to go into app and views. That's basically where we're going to store our views. So inside of app, let's create a new folder called views. And while we're at it, let's create a view for home. So let's create home.php. So all of this file is going to do is be responsible for showing what's on the home page. So let's just type home in there for now. And let's create an example route down here. We're not going to be storing routes in here, but let's do what we did earlier on in the series and say get forward slash. And look at how we actually render a slim view. All we need to do is make sure that we are using our app and say app render home.php. And because we know that our templates path is in views, this will just look for views and then home.php. So now on our home page, we see home. That is the, that's the very basics of how we're going to be setting up our views and we have all of this here. Now, the only th other thing that we need to do within Slim is configure our views. So this will essentially allow us to turn bugging, debugging on so we can debug if we need to. It will also allow us to pass in our parser extensions. And this is useful because we have things like helpers in our views, which allow us to generate URLs. So uh, this will become clear a lot, uh, a lot later when we start to look at this. So just down here, then we are going to create a variable called view, and that's going to be app view. And we're going to say view parser options, and we're going to assign an array to this. And we're going to pass in here debug. Now this can either be true or false. So debugging within our uh, twig templates. But remember, we have a configuration option for this. It's under twig debug. So we can just pull that value into here. So it's app config get twig dot debug. That's it. So now we need to configure our parser extensions or add in our parser extensions. So we do pretty much the same thing, just parser extensions. This time we have an array again. And in here, we're going to pass in a new twig extension. Now this is uh, what's going to allow us to do things like generate URLs within views. So uh, really handy, uh, basically extensions that we have. And 
because we've done this, Twig extension is namespaced. So up here, we're going to use slim views twig extension. That's it. So this uh, shouldn't make a difference to our, uh, well, we, we don't have that root anymore, but it shouldn't make a difference to what's going on now. What we're going to focus on now is creating our base template and the partials that come along with our views. And this will set everything up for us so we can just easily do things like change the page titles within each one of these views. We're going to have lots of view files within this uh, folder here, all separated into nice directories. And by the way, the reason we do this is so we can keep our views separate. If we need to update something on a page, it's really straightforward. So we need to then create our templates. So our, our base template. So let's create a new folder in views called templates. And we're going to create a default template. This is just basically going to be uh, an HTML document where within other views, we can extend this and include the content where we need it. So for the page title, we're going to say website, and then we're going to pull in a specific block from Twig. Now this might not make sense, but when we come to see this in action with our home page, this will make total sense. So we're going to say block title, that's the name of the block, and then we need to end the block here. So we just say end block. So all that means is when we define the block within home and extend the default template, it will say website and then it will say the name of the uh, page we're on. That allows you to just change the page title from each view really easily. It just makes things a lot easier in the future. Although it's a little bit, you know, more difficult to set up now. And now we're going to do the same thing, but with our content. So block content. And then we're going to end that block there. So let's take a look at how we do this within home and then we'll look at some of the partials we're going to create in just a minute. So for the home page, then we need to extend the default template. So to do this up here, we say extends and then we give the uh, file name templates default.php. So now what we can do then is say block title and end our block there. We can type home in here. So that means that home will now be put here when we eventually render this view. And then we want to define another block, which is our content. And we did that on the default template as well. So end block like that. And we'll just say home. So we're not actually doing anything with this now. We'll have our title and our uh, content in there from this but we, we don't have any roots that will allow us to actually do this. So what we now want to do is create our roots folder and then start to you know separate out our roots, but we're just gonna do one for the home page for now. So inside of app, we want a new folder called roots. This is gonna store all of our roots. And for our first root, we've already seen an example of doing this in start.php. We're gonna have home.php. And all we're gonna do in here is app get forward slash like we've seen before, and then just say uh, echo hello, and we want to use app. So now we need a way of collecting together all of our different routes because we're going to be creating lots of different files in here for each of our routes. They will render our templates or our views. So we want a base root file. So roots.php. So all this is going to do is it's going to include in the roots that we need. So inside of this base roots file, we want to require the include root forward slash app roots home.php. And then we can add all of the other roots that we're going to be creating in this file as well. So in start, all we want to do now is require in roots.php. Because we require this in, it requires this file in, which requires our home root in, which will allow us to show something on the home page. And at the moment, that's just hello. But we have this view here that we created, which uh, you know is is all well and good, but we're not actually doing anything with it. So at the moment, if we view the page source here, it's just the text on the page because all we're doing from this root is echoing out hello. 
So we say app render, and then we say home.php. Now that's going to render this. It's going to pull in the default template, set the title and set the content. So when we refresh, we see home, we see website home, like we expect. When we view the page source, we see our document laid out there. So our default template is where we go to update the uh, design if we want to add a style sheet in, any JavaScript or anything else in here. Now what I'm going to do now is add some partials to my template. This is going to be the navigation at the top and it's also going to be the messages that we flash through and we'll explain that a lot later in the series. So I'm going to create a partials directory within templates and in here I'm going to create a file called navigation.php. So that's going to be my navigation. So inside my default template uh, here, I can include this in just here. So all I do is include templates, partials, navigation.php. So now on every page that we create, as long as we extend the uh, default template, we'll have our navigation, which makes it a lot more consistent and easy to work with and uh, keeps it very tidy as well. So we've got our nav here. Let's just uh, update this so we uh, kind of give the nav that we want. This is just going to be an unordered list with list items. But of course, you can update this to whatever you want. So I'm going to have an unordered list. The first is a is a link to the home page. So we have this home link here, which we can click on. But it's not actually going anywhere just yet. So let's focus on named routes. So let's get rid of all these files and let's open our home route here. So we can give this a name and I'm going to call this home. And remember when we included in our twig extension for our views, uh, this gave us the ability to use uh, helpers inside of navigation and to generate a URL to our home page. All we need to do is say URL for and pass in the name of the route. Um, so the name of the route is home. This will give us a URL to our home page. So let's see the difference. Let's just view the page source. And there we go. Go. We've got tutorials, authentication, public. That is our home page, remember, just, just forward slash. It's not anything else. But this will work for all of the other routes that we create and give a name to. And that is pretty much it. So now let's quickly focus on our uh, messages partial, which we're going to be looking at in the next part. And all this is going to do is provide us a way to flash messages to the user. So for example, when they register and we say, you've been registered, you can now uh, activate your account or you can log in or whatever. Uh, we want to detect this in this partial, include it into our default uh, template. And then we want to show this to the user. So up here, we're going to say if flash.global. And we'll explain this in the next part. We'll see how this works. I'm going to end if here. And this is the syntax for an if statement within Twig. Uh, it might take a little bit getting used to, but it's, it's worth it. So we're going to have a div here with a class of global. And in here, we're going to output flash dot global. I should have mentioned that these two um, curly brackets basically just mean output something. And this will automatically be escaped as well with Twig. So you don't need to worry about escaping content when you output it to the user. Uh, so you're, you're preventing against XSS attacks. OK, so now that we've got that, let's just include this into our template here. So we'll say messages.php. And there we go. So that is all for this part we let's just recap what we've done so far we have pulled in uh, our twig view and our templates path which we now know we can create all of our views in we've gone ahead and added a uh, debug mode on twig and we've added our parser extension so we can use things like that uh, url4 that we have just uh, where is it in our navigation url4 here um, and we've created our first route. So this is just the route to our home page. So at the moment, all it looks like is this. But as we go along for the rest of the series, we'll obviously be creating lots of different routes which are going to handle things like the login and uh, registration of users. 
and not only get routes, we'll also be looking at post routes. But first of all, let's uh, figure out how we work with flashing messages within Slim and uh, we'll take a look at how this works.